option is $7,100. The high of the day, I think, was like $7,600. That is just insane, right? Seven, 10 contracts at $77, $770. You walked away in the event that you held this. You walked away with $70,000 on a $770 trade slash investment, right? Because this was a fairly long trade. It was December 13th is when I bought it and sold it within a day or so. And this mofo went all the way to 425 like a breeze. Honestly, I wouldn't have held that long. I would have sold. If it was at $2,000, I would have just, I would have sold it and let it go. The thing I regret is that I was impatient on this trade because I wanted to get back on Shopify because I knew Shop was about to move. So what I did was I got out of this at the 145 and I put it right into Shopify contracts where I did make some money, but it was nowhere near the return on investment here. And one more thing I want to tell you folks, and then I'm going to call it a day and uh, make some dinner, make some chicken, probably Parmesan crusted. And um, one thing I want to say for day traders, scalpers, whatever, right? So some people don't care about the Greeks because they're looking at, um, you know, getting in and out of the trade in minutes or seconds or a few hours or whatever. So you go from a scalper, which is like 30 minutes, and then longer than that is going to be a day trader. And then longer than that, anything over a day, obviously day to day to day to day, there's going to be swinging trades regardless of, of how big or small they are. Um, again, I don't know how many times I have to reiterate this. Um, if you buy, today's Wednesday, if you buy an expiration for Friday, you have three days, right? You have three whole days to lose your money. Now, how do you know you're going to lose money? Maybe you won't. The stock price of Apple was two ninety five. Uh, no, two two ninety eight. I think it opened this morning. Give or take a dollar. Three hundred dollar call, um, right? I know someone who has this very call, so I'm calling you out right now. Um, you didn't listen to my rules, but you got lucky. You made money, um, and it's okay because I, I fed you my advice this morning before we. You know, departed ways, and uh, this is what you came up with. So I don't know where you sold. I haven't talked to you yet. But Apple ended up being, uh, today, it went up to, I think it was 303. So this position, uh, even though last night's retarded V-shaped recovery, uh, so got time, um, went to 298, but it went all the way down to, I think it was 295. Uh, but it closed at like 299. So we did this number last night because of the news. Opened at 298 and some change. Went up to 303. Boom. Get out of the trade. Done. It expires here. Even though you're near the money, if tomorrow Apple dropped back to 299, this position is going to lose a lot of value because now you're out of the money technically because Friday is tomorrow. Your theta is going to rapidly just destroy this position so the profit on this should have been, uh, I think purchase was like 240, 240 cost. I saw it as high as 373, I think it was. Uh, hopefully he sold at least 400 plus today because this should have been, that actually should have been like 600 bucks um, because it's $3 in the money um, and he had purchased it a lot prior. So he had a nice uh, buildup already in profit. Um, so in the event that it drops to 299 on Thursday, this will say $400 profit is going to just do this and at best you'll be probably around that range 185 dollars right why because now your probability is just shrinking drastically right so you need to be at 300 period if you got a call and if you got a put you need to be under so he's got a call if this is at 300 and a penny he expires in the money he's good if it expires at 299.99, this entire position will be what? Zero. Why? Because it expired out of the money. Now people confuse out of the money with a penny versus $50 out of the money. So out of the money contracts are contracts that you buy with expectance of the price to go X amount. 
When SPY touches 350, I'm loading up so many puts that I, can, I won't even be able to think about how many puts I have on SPY. Um, I had 30, but I knew once it broke 310, it was over. It was going to keep pumping. Uh, it confirmed Bollinger Band shows me that it's going to at least push to 345 to 355. I'm calling 350 on it. Some point between now and maybe summertime, uh, but the war, the trade deal, the new election coming up, that's going to drastically affect all of these things um, because I think people will have faith in Trump to keep the market at least pumped up to build some money. But in the event, in my opinion, that a Democrat gets in that mark in the in the uh, presidency presidency and gets attached to the market a little bit, it's just going to do a complete 360 of uh, or 180 rather of what it is doing now. And I really think that the correction that should have happened in 2017 ish. 2018 at the latest, where you saw that nice, I think it was 15 to 20 percent drop in December. You had a lot of stocks that actually lost half their value at that time, uh, and then they came up, and then some of them lost even more than that, and then have doubled since then or tripled. Uh, that was when Apple went down to 145. As a matter of fact, if you look back at my videos, you can see me doing a video coverage of that with SPY and Apple, uh, and Apple where we go to 140 or where we go back up. And uh, it actually finally bounced. And if you look at it, it was right around the 200 moving average, uh, exponential moving average. Um, so here you go. So this is why if he has, why would you buy this? Oh, because I want a cheaper contract. I want to, and I'm not calling him out right now. I'm, this is for everybody that I've seen do this. So if you, if you know that it's going to be 300 on Friday, like you, you have such a strong feeling. And you buy, let's say this is January 10 expiration. So say you bought a January 31 expiration, you just gave yourself an additional two weeks and less time decay against you with this expiration. Now, granted, you paid 240, and that was after it had already went from like, I think the low was 195. So once he built from there, so this is already a $50 difference almost, right? Say he bought this contract. If the low is 195 there, that means the, the January 31, depending on how much it moved, um, the high for that contract was much higher. So the low would have likely buy in. For, okay, so say he bought a 240 on, on the, for the 10th expiration a week ago. The 31 would have likely been about $400 max, give or take 20 or 30 bucks. So $400 cost, but boom, you just hit 300. Now you're deep in the money. The price is at 295. You built up to 300. And now you're, you, you easily made 40 to 90% on this trade, if not more, during the price spike on option volatility, you would have probably been able to reap 110% profit, uh, give or take, and hell, even more of that if the price continues to go. So the thing with longer expiration is, yes, it is more expensive, especially on Apple, SPY, you know, Facebook, things like that. You want to look for low implied volatility on any trade you do. Because you don't want the market to believe that it's going to move some drastic amount and then you're going to get screwed if you bought too high and say it does drop. You know, say you weren't paying attention and earnings was tonight, but you bought a call and that sucker drops off 20 bucks after hours. Your, your call, you just, you just threw away money because you weren't prepared, you didn't pay attention. So um, as soon as that is done, go for longer expiration. Um, don't get same day expirations, especially same day. Same week is bad enough. Um, I've seen people try to day trade contracts on expiration day, and sometimes that works out, sometimes it doesn't. Um, if, you, if you're gonna gamble that, you know, wait till like the last possible moment on Thursday, like 3.55 or 57 p.m., and then hop in a contract to sell it at open tomorrow in the event that it spikes just a little bit, you'll, you'll reap a little profit. Remember my other video I just did? I said uh, $25 contract was at $280, 992% profit, but I didn't sell it right away. Immediately when that price dropped on Shopify, gone. All of that premium was right down the drain and I lost the ability to take that 280 profit out and it went all the way back down. I took $10 profit on the whole trade. Stupid, don't do that. But it was, I mean, it was a lot of, I knew that was gonna happen. I just should have taken the profit. Even at 190, I should have taken the profit. Um, anyway, long expiration. I will not preach it anymore. Maybe I will. Um, but other than that, that's going to call it a day. Hopefully, uh, everybody gets some good information out of this. 
Um, I do appreciate you all watching and taking the time if you did. Um, like I said, you can email me at thefishhooktrader at outlook.com if you have any questions. Um, you know, um, I don't do any mentorships or anything right now just because I just don't have the time. Uh, what I will say is that I appreciate y'all taking the time to watch the video. Um, TCX Trader Circle, we're an excellent chat group. I'm in there fairly often. So in the event that you, you know, I'm near like 24 in there um, and actually in other places. Um, so you see that name, that's my username, you know, unless somebody jacked it or whatever. But that's me, uh, the Fisher Trader on Instagram, Facebook, find me anywhere. Uh, email it, the Fisher Trader at outlook.com. Join us on the TCX Discord. I'll post those links all below. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you guys so much. Hopefully you learned something. Please comment if you did. Any questions, debate. You want to debate about something? I don't mind that. Um, you know, no keyboard warriors though. Don't, uh, don't be disrespectful. Uh, but everybody have a good day. Stay safe. I know with the war thing going on, or we're not, I'm not even going to call it war with, with the talk of war uh, plus the trade deal. Be very careful with your trading. Don't overexpose yourself. You know, don't put your whole account in one trade and just for it to take away half of your money. Um, that happens very often to a lot of people. Um, gambling is, is, is not for the stock market. I mean, some people get lucky, they do. Just like if somebody would have bought 50 contracts at $77 or $80 or whatever uh, in December to hold for Tesla going long, which somebody probably did, um, and now they're worth $7,000 each, they just made a whole lot of money. All right, I regret that I didn't actually hold that and or buy more and just be patient with it, but a lot of things, especially traders that swing, uh, swing trade or day trade often, or you're constantly trying to be in the market, which you don't have to be, uh, which other traders uh, who are more experienced will tell you that. Also, um, you need to be prepared to trade what you're gonna trade. Use specific indicators. I'll go over indicators, mainly EMA crosses and things like that in a future video. Today is all the time I got. I did three videos for you guys. They'll all be lo loaded to the YouTube channel tonight. The Fisher Trader, learning how to trade options. I've got two small books out, very basic, very straight to the point. Book number three is in the works. It'll be late 2020 before that comes out. Um, and then you'll have uh, my ultimate Fisher Trader guide to find stocks through uh, specific scanners and specific parameters in order to find those stocks. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you guys.